Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artist Empire here, and in this video, I want to key you guys in on a few things. First thing I want to say is a major thank you to Jason Edwardson for the amazing new intro you've seen at the beginning of this video. He contacted me through Instagram and just said, Hey brother, I made this for you in my free time and just sent it to you, and if you like it, you can use it. Thank you for that, brother. I will use that periodically. I will leave a link to his Instagram down in the description box below if you guys would like to reach out to him and maybe get him to make an intro for your channels or something of that nature. Second of all, you guys will notice that the 3D printer is no longer in the workshop. A dusty workshop is not a great place for a 3D printer. Also, with it getting colder, this shop is neither heated nor cooled, so I'm kind of subjected to the weather. So I decided to just go on and take the 3D printer back into the house and set it up in there in a more climate controlled environment. My eventual plan is to basically build a case for it and maybe actually get it back out here in the workshop once spring comes back around. I know we're in fall now and the cooler mornings and all. It's just not good for the 3D printer and the filament and all. So that's the reason that's out there. It's still working and I'm still using it. It's just not out here in the workshop right now. Third thing I want to tell you guys. I recently got back from vacation in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. It's my favorite place to go, favorite place to go on vacation. I was down there and I bumped into an up and coming photographer. He is a young guy. He goes by Nerdy Boy Studios on Instagram. I will leave a link to his Instagram page down here in the description box below as well as Jason's. He, done an, he does an amazing job with still photography, you know, just random stuff. He'll display stuff, take pictures, and then go on the computer and work with the images and distort them and bring out the detail and all. He does amazing work. I checked out some of his work. We followed each other on Instagram. And then he got to talking. He's like, well, since you're a pirate, do you have your gear with you? My pirate outfit. And I said, absolutely. He said, would you want to do an impromptu photo shoot? So we scheduled a time. And again, it was just a quick photo shoot. Again, we were both on vacation, just down there relaxing. But to help him out, I hopped in the pirate gear the first time I had hopped into it in almost a year. That was the first time I had dressed up as a pirate since November of 2019. So from November back to September, I hadn't even dressed with the outfit. It had just been sitting in the trunk. So, you know, it was amazing to get all that back on and get a refresh and step back into those tattered clothes and put a few smiles on some faces around the hotel. Um, what I've done is I actually filmed me getting ready, putting the makeup, the wig, and then the clothes on. And I'm about to roll that footage for you. And then at the end, I'm also going to include the pictures that Nerdy Boy Studios took. Now, the first two pictures you will see, first one or two pictures you will see, is actually I took myself one in the hotel and then one once I got to the beach. But then the rest is all the work of Nerdy Boy Studios. Again, follow him and follow Jason Edwardson. Links to their Instagram pages down in the box below. I hope you guys like this video. And remember, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artist and Pirate. Keep liking, sharing, and subscribing. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon. And I'm going to start by blacking out my eyes with a cold makeup pencil. The eyes have always took the longest to do because you want to make sure they're symmetrical and even. And using my finger and a Q-tip just to smudge it to make it look like it's been there a long time and doing some touch-up on it. And then I'm going to take bronzer and a makeup pad to bronze my face and my neck. Really give it a nice tan appearance. It's really an art form getting the makeup just right. And I stepped off camera here to go back into the room where my stuff was and put on the big baggy shirt. And I'll roll the sleeves up. And make sure I've got it on right. And I'll step back off camera and I'll go get the wig. 
to put on and take my bandana off and the wig just basically sits on my head like a hat. I'll get it right and get the bandana ready to go on and the bandana just really locks everything in place and the wig is real comfortable to wear for like a long three or four hour community event or something it doesn't get bothersome or anything and I'm gonna put the scar on my cheek and step into the living room and start putting on the rest of the outfit and I do apologize for how dark this footage is. When I started filming it, I looked at the screen on the camera and everything was bright. But when I brought the footage back home and got it on the desktop, it was dark. And I've done my best to lighten it up to where you guys can see what I'm doing. But I'm putting on the boots here. And I use a leather cord to hold the bell up. And I'll fold the bell back down and make sure I've got them on right. And now I'll put on the vest. And next is the sash. And this thing is... It's either 20 or 30 foot long. I've had it so long I can't remember. But it goes around me a few times. And then I tie it at my left hip. And I'm going to step back into the bathroom at the mirror to check on everything see how everything looks and I'll come back and start putting the belts on again I really hate how dark this footage came out because I really wanted to show you guys the whole process from start to finish but it is what it is. You have the beautiful Atlantic Beach behind me as I'm getting ready. And again, all this was in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Hooking the compass in the belt. Now I'll start to put on all the wrist pieces. And again, this was my First time dressing up fully as a pirate in almost a year. And everything just flowed together putting it back on. There is the sword belt. sword and there's the whole completed look now I can head down to the beach to meet nerdy boy studios and this selfie is just of me that I took heading down through the lobby to head out to the beach and then I took another selfie just with myself on the beach just so I'd have something to post on Instagram and then the rest of these photos are Nerdy Boy Studios work and again he just had his camera and we done a very quick photo shoot six or seven pictures and I think they turned out great I highly encourage everyone to go give him a follow over on his Instagram page some of these photos were my idea like this one the X marks the spot and then Nerdy Boy Studios took one of the photos and took it back home and added the pirate ship like I was coming ashore and I really love this one awesome job thank you for that and then the pirate looking out to sea I loved all these pictures and I hope you guys did too and I hope you liked watching the video thank you